problem of housing and homeless people. The other day I got uh, a pamphlet in my mailbox uh, about how Salvation Army is working with people who don't have homes. And it gave a figure of around 1 lakh Aussies, that is 100,000 Aussies who are homeless in need of home, but there is not enough government housing. Why is it so that a developed country like Australia, with such a big and booming mining industry, the government does not have enough money to provide housing to everyone? Why is it so? The question is not about the ability of the government. The question is about the intention of the government. Is the government really intended? Does, it really, uh, does the government really intend to provide housing to the, those homeless? The answer is no. We all know who live in Australia how many Centrelink offices which are built on government land look like five star buildings. There is one down in Salisbury, near Salisbury Interchange, which has just been recently. Uh, re uh, constructed in a parking space which is of course the land owned by the government and it's nothing less than a five star office nothing less than a five star hotel but the point is I don't I don't mind if they have constructed an office over there what was the problem in constructing a scrapper with ten stories each story having ten studio apartments that would have meant a hundred housing units in one building and if there are couples who are homeless at least 200 people would, uh, would have uh, been pro provided houses but why has that land been only used to construct a single uh, ground floor uh, office for a central uh, for, for central aid? do you think the government couldn't have constructed what I just said now either the government does not have brain, government is run by retards who don't know how to plan. That is that could be the one reason. Or the second possible reason is the government does not have the intention of doing it. Now let me remind you people, over the last couple of years, the government has constructed or lent, constructed a northern expressway. We who live in South Australia, we all we all are familiar with Northern Expressway, which was constructed by taking over very fertile soil, which could uh, which was used for cultivation. It was being used for vine cultivation, but to think of it that in the middle of Australia, there's nothing, no place where you can grow anything. The fertile land is so important. Still, I don't know how many hect how many hundred thousand hectares of land was wasted to build an expressway. Now, do you think that expressway helps you and me, ordinary people like you and me, anyway? I agree. It makes uh, uh, coming to Adelaide a bit quicker. Say it makes a difference of uh, half an hour because it's a wide road with many lanes and uh, uh, you can speed up. It makes traveling easier. But do you think that development was ready for people like you and me? Don't even, don't even think so. That development was done for the people, for the big businessmen, whose scores of trucks use that route every day. If one truck, if a one truck travels on that road and it saves that truck half an hour, that is one thirty minutes of time. And say a company has got foreign trucks which travel that road in one day, that saves seven hours of total time in a day for that company. And seven hours of driving time literally means one shift. That is one ordinary guy like you and me, his work is saved in one day. Now imagine how many less number of people will that private organization need over one year to do the same amount of work that it used to do earlier? That role was constructed to save money to those private people while ordinary people like you and me, someone like you and me, 
who is an ordinary person, he loses his job because that company has been saved time and it can spare a it, it no longer requires the services of one person. And that's the truth. All that development, all that big stretch of road was constructed using our hard-earned money, the money we paid as taxes, billions of dollars was spent only to benefit rich people and make one of us suffer. While that money could have been actually used to provide not only housing to homeless people, how much do you think would have it cost the government to make that five-star office in Salisbury into a ten-story building or to buy a small tract of land and construct a big house, a, a, a unit of apartment for, uh, for homeless um, uh, people. Two buildings, uh, two, two apartment buildings, each, with, when I say apartments, I mean studio accommodation, not even a one bedroom apartment, just not even one, be one bedroom flat, just studio units, which have got a, uh, to a toilet bathroom and a, uh, and a cooking and living area, cooking, living and sleeping area. How many of uh, uh, such apartments, uh, um, such studio accommodations could have been constructed in the billions of bucks that was spent to benefit the businessmen? There would have been not even one single homeless person in Adelaide and government would still have had money to spend on the employment of those people. But what has it done? It has wasted the money to save money to the businessmen so that one of someone like you and me, an ordinary person, loses his job. That is the truth. The government has no intention to help the poor people. That is the truth about the government. However, as I have mentioned in my couple of other videos about mining and taxes, I am an Aussie today, but I cannot change what's wrong with Australia for Aussies because I wasn't born here, I wasn't brought up over here. I was born in India, I was brought up in India. I will fix what's wrong with India. And I promise you that. I leave fixing Australia to you people. You people fix Australia, I will fix India. And let's together make India and Australia the top two countries in this world. Thanks for watching.